So hi, uh, I'm Ablas Pandey and I'm from Ambi Communication Engineering. And I'm going to share my experience for uh, my selection in Qualcomm. I have selected, I got selected in Qualcomm for Arab software profile. And uh, the interview process uh, consists of three rounds. So before that, uh, we were intimated like two days before that uh, the Qualcomm is coming. And after that, we had three rounds in that one. So the three rounds are basically first is return round and the other two are the technical interviews. So in the return round, we have uh, three sections again. Uh, one was general aptitude, second was coding, and third was, third was the uh, technical, the domain uh, round. And the other technical interviews round, other two technical interview rounds are mostly based on technical and communication uh, and coding part only. So this is uh, how the whole process is there. Yeah, for return round, we had three sections. So first section was aptitude, second was coding, and third was uh, technical. So in coding part, the mostly most focus was on uh, data interpretation and uh, logical reasoning. So I uh, mostly 50% of questions were from these two parts. So uh, logical reasoning was a little bit uh, time taking and a little bit uh, tough. Uh, data interpretation and other quants were very easy. So those could, uh, those can be uh, done in quick time, but more focus should be uh, uh, was required in logical reasoning part. In the, in the coding section, in coding section, we had mostly like find the output and error. So it was mostly based on C and data structure. There were a few questions from C++ and uh, um, uh, C++ and computer organizations, but those were very few numbers. Mostly the focus was on C and data structure. And uh, the questions are very basics. Uh, they were, those were very basics question, but yeah, uh, some, uh, some thought process was required to solve them. Uh, and uh, next part was communication. So it was mostly like gate level questions. The questions were not tough. But few basics uh, understanding to solve this question were required. And some questions were, were from probability and linear algebra also, but very basic questions. Those uh, like just a small uh, quick dress up will uh, suffice for those questions. Yeah, so for written exam, uh, basically for aptitude and all, some uh, small uh, dress up was required. So I didn't put much focus on aptitude. Uh, but yeah, brush up of the small concept, uh, small formulas I did before this one. But I would suggest to put little bit focus on logical reasoning uh, that uh, that will help to save time and uh, attempt more questions. Basically, the questions for sitting arrangements and all those kind of questions and data interpretation, this should be put more focus. Uh, and small brush up uh, from any good website, aptitude site can help uh, in aptitude. For coding and uh, for coding sections, I mostly focused on uh, the basics of this coding. So I uh, went for uh, Narayan Sai Technology YouTube videos. So that will cover uh, a good amount of uh, basic understanding, which is required. We can go further also, but I would suggest first go with these YouTube videos because this will cover a uh, lot of concept in very small time. Once you get the basics of these things, then you could go ahead and further look for different material. And for coding, I would suggest to uh, practice hands-on also. Even for aptitude, I would suggest to practice a little bit of hands-on so that you will be in touch with this one and you will better, uh, you will be better uh, able to solve this output and error questions that will help. And uh, for uh, Geeks for Geeks is one more site which will actually help you. And Hacker Rank also you can try, but I would suggest that uh, don't go very high in Hacker Rank if you are very new. And uh, if you are starting from the beginning, you can go. Uh, I mean to say, if you are starting very late for coding part, I would suggest that uh, not to go in uh, that deep for at least aptitude part. And for communication, I think the gate level revision would suffice. Gate revision. Uh, there is a common communication question of gate level revision and few gate questions will also work. And this will help for uh, written, to clear the written examination, I would suggest. So, and also for our ME, uh, uh, like uh, ADSP, MPC, and 
uh, advanced digital it have a basic brush up of this thing it can help in communication questions also so that you are not missing anything you are covering whole part in case so uh, technical round one the interview round one so it basically i started with my project so i uh, i told him about my project and described him so there are very few questions on project yeah but uh, started with that one after that uh, the he asked very few questions on communications also but very basic questions like sampling and convolution of rectangular function like sampling the band pass uh, band pass signal these kind of questions and then the interview moved on to coding part so coding part was the most of, uh, rest of the part was only coding so they focused on c and data structure and uh, it had a written round also they asked me to write codes also so it was combined with both the c uh, c and data structure idea concepts and along with that one uh, they asked me to write codes also so basically they mostly focus in this round on sign and sign integer they asked me to write a program to reverse the data of linked list and uh, they ask uh, the operation of bitwise operator and those kind of questions are focused in this round and uh, also memory uh, segmentation and how variables are stored in memory and all they also focus on this round. so this is how the first round ended yeah in second round uh, they focused only on coding so uh, uh, what uh, whatever i was like in first round in second round they focused on those topics they started with stack heaps segmentation they asked me to uh, write program and this time they focused on array manipulations like uh, how array can be reversed how uh, if you have a n natural number if one is missing from it how you will find it how to remove duplicate from error and these questions they asked to write programs also so while writing the programs you should be very uh, like you should be speaking loud i would say you should uh, like if not continuously you should make him uh, like make him hear your ideas so that it's uh, it will be interactive otherwise uh, uh, they would feel like uh, isolated so in that case like you should have a little bit uh, in interaction with them and in some cases they will help also so they would suggest also so it's not that you have to complete the program you have to present the idea logic uh, to them that what you are trying to do and that also very clear way so even if you don't complete the program so uh, there is nothing to worry about your idea and logic should be very clear on that one and uh, after that they ask few questions again in c coding and data structure only like tangling pointer and uh, uh, again, they ask the memory arrangement, how memory arrangement are done. Few questions on uh, data structure also, like trees and all. So I would suggest that these are the things they ask in second round, mostly. Yeah, so preparation strategy, uh, mostly for the technical part, like communication part, the class notes are enough. So class notes will cover uh, mostly everything. The basics of everything but i would suggest that uh, we went through some uh, deep level uh, like those topics in a deep with uh, mptl videos especially mpc and adc from aditya jagannathan and pdl videos so for rf our uh, class notes by pankaj sir was also enough so he would cover mostly everything which is required so interview as uh, we got to know from our seniors that it will most mostly focus on the basics, the intuitive understandings and the applications. So uh, we didn't much focus on formulas and all. So uh, I also tried to just focus on the intuition behind the ideas and what where these are getting applicable. And uh, one thing uh, which we did, which I also did, is that the technical subjects we focused from the beginning itself. We focused in the semester itself to cover as much as possible so that it will not be added at last. And uh, whenever we got time, we prepared for coding so that uh, uh, mostly we got time coding for end after our sem. But yeah, I would suggest that technical, if possible, cover 
within the semester itself, first and second sem. And also, uh, um, emphasis should be given in project because the project is also important that gives good understanding what is going on. So these are how we prepared for uh, uh, our uh, preparation, we did, which I also did in the same same way. And regarding uh, uh, coding and all, uh, we I took help from other, as I already mentioned, I took help from Naresai technology and data structure. Uh, uh, sorry, C programming and data structure from Naresai technology and uh, question practice from Geeks for Geeks and Hacker and Aptitude. We just practice some books like I prepared from Gate questions, previous year, Gate questions only, but uh, good sites are also there available uh, that will take care of aptitude. So this is how we prepared for an uh, interview. Yeah, so all the best for all uh, the future aspirants. So definitely, uh, like if done from the beginning, definitely you can also crack.